Welcome to Summer Vlogs in Australia. We made it! You guys, I got so sunburned. I feel like I've taken the coquette trend to another level because I literally have a bow imprinted on my back. Lesson learned, the UV rays in Australia do not f around. There's no ozone layer here. I put on sunscreen and I still, my whole body is just fried. And I actually think I got some version of sun poisoning because my throat hurts so bad. I think because maybe I got so dehydrated yesterday. We're in Western Australia and I guess the sun here is stronger than it is on the east side of Australia, which is where Sydney and Melbourne is. It's our first time, well not Taylor's first time, it's my first time here in Perth and it is beautiful. From what I've learned, Perth is a little more chill, a little more quiet, there's more nature, the beaches are really nice, but there's not as much going on here as in other cities that we usually go to. That being said, tennis season is back. We are here for United Cup. So this is a team event for men and women. It's the top men's player and the top women's player from every country and they play. Last year, Taylor's team, the US won this tournament and it was really, really fun. They changed the format this year. So instead of being a big team from the country, there's just one men's, one women's, and then they also have alternates here. My plan was to go to the beach every day, but now that I'm so sunburned, I literally cannot go in the sun i'm gonna have to find some other things to do but we are staying at the ritz carlton and honestly this might be one of the most beautiful rooms that we've ever stayed in on tour so i haven't done one of these in a while we're gonna do a little hotel room tour i'm just putting the blinds up but this is the living room and we have this beautiful view of a park and i think that they're setting up something for new year's i'm guessing that they'll have fireworks in the park here i did a sad attempt at trying to make the bed but this is the bedroom, Taylor's little gaming area. I pretty much already unpacked everything except for this laundry here. I've got my bags, my shoes up there, accessories, and then I hung up my clothes, and then I also unpacked Taylor's stuff, so all of his match stuff is there, and then all of his practice stuff is there. The bathroom is super cool. They have the shower, but then they also have the bathtub in the room with the shower. I just think environments are so important, and we did the math the other day, and last year, or 2023, technically, we spent 41 weeks on the road in a hotel room, so staying in hotel rooms that are just nice and comfortable make me have such better weeks because I feel comfortable in the environment, and even having two separate rooms, I can lay in bed and like edit and work, and Taylor can play video games or like watch videos on his computer in the other room, and just having that separate space is life-changing. I've been drinking tea all morning because my throat hurts so bad. I can't tell if I'm getting sick or if it's from the sunburn. I'm going to drive out to a wildlife park because I really, really, really want to see kangaroos and koalas. Earth is also known for these little creatures called quokkas, which you might have heard of. They are supposedly the happiest animal on Earth, and they are only on this one particular island that's off the coast of Perth, but this wildlife center also has those, so I wanna go see them. I just love going to aquariums and wildlife centers when I'm traveling because they always have different animals. They're so cute, and I think at this one you can actually feed and pet kangaroos, which I'm very excited about. When I was just driving here, there were wild kangaroos just jumping around the car which I've never seen before, it's so crazy. Kangaroos are like, they're rabbits here in certain parts of Australia, which is just mind-blowing to me. Hey, buddy. I don't like the way this one is looking at me right now. Did you just growl? Oh, no, 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 no. I like this one, though. You're so cute. to be fun and will be it was never supposed to be a struggle so when you say I I can't tell which way decision to make what that always means is there hasn't been enough reaching for the thought that feels best <laughs>
no what? Rot nest. Rot nest. Mm -hmm. Rot's nest or rot nest? Rot nest. Oh yeah. Island. There's no cars allowed on the island and there's beautiful beaches. This is where all of the quokkas live and it's actually the only place in the world where they have native quokkas and they're super friendly because they have no predators. It is the first match of the season. I don't know why the beginning of the season just feels more exciting than other ones. Maybe because Taylor was injured at the end of last year, so she hasn't played in a while, but I'm super excited. For matches when I'm in Australia, I usually dress much more casually. Australian Open, I would say, is probably the most casual of the four grand slams. Like, I wouldn't wear something that I wore to Wimbledon there. Maybe, maybe if he's in like quarters or semis or finals. I would wear something a little more dressy, but usually I'm going super casual. So my outfit today, this top is from Cotton On. I got it yesterday, two days ago. These jeans are from Dish. I had these for a while and I think they just got lost in my closet, but they fit so good. And then these little heels are from Mango. They're super, super comfortable. I honestly can wear them all day. And then these sunnies are from Bambi, which is also an Australian brand. So today Taylor plays Cam Nori. This is like, I think, the 15th time that they've played since we started dating he has played nori more than any other player and they always have absolute battles so it's usa versus britain today so he'll play a singles match and then he will play a mixed doubles match i'm absolutely lathered in sunscreen right now and this australian girl messaged me the other day that i have to buy australian sunscreen because sunscreen in the u.s just does not fight the uv rays here i bought australian sunscreen yesterday and i'm praying praying that it works i'll probably reapply between like every single set so let's go to a tennis match my channel for a while you probably know that I'm a big big fan of Mel Robbins she has a podcast called the Mel Robbins podcast and this morning I listened to I think probably her most popular episode for whatever reason I just hadn't listened to it yet but the title of the episode is the let them theory but super viral on social media around the springtime of this year I'd seen clips of it on TikTok and Instagram but I never really got around to actually going and listening to the episode until this morning and I think especially with starting 2024 this new year new beginnings if you have not listened to that episode yet I highly highly recommend going and doing that the big main idea of it is pretty self-explanatory it is just let them let people do what they're gonna do let people do what they want to do. It is not your problem and it is not any of your business. Listening to this podcast episode this morning made me think about this show that Taylor and I watched this past November 
called Ted Lasso. If you have not watched this show yet, first of all, you absolutely must. It is truly one of the greatest shows that I've ever seen. It is about an American football coach who gets hired to go coach an English soccer team, but don't cast it off as just a sports show. That's what I initially did, and that's why it took so long for me to watch it. The greatest lesson of the show is about empathy and kindness, and not just about how this coach Ted happens to be literally the nicest guy on the planet, but how his actions affect others around him as they emulate him and his compassion makes everyone around him a better person. Obviously Ted Lasso is a fictional character, but while I was watching this show, I found myself becoming so obsessed with him and everything that he is. And even though he is a fictional character, he is written as a very deeply flawed human being, much like the rest of us. And no matter what he goes through, no matter what he's dealing with, no matter how mean people are to him, and people in the show, especially near the beginning of it, are so, so mean to him, he does not let the world make him hard. And near the start of the show, I think a lot of people, myself included, kind of go into it thinking he's dumb and he's naive, but as you keep watching the show, it's clear that he's just genuinely a good person and he is so confident in himself that he is a good person, he deserves good things. One, I think Ted Lasso emulates the let them theory and two, it taught me that even on days that I can't be kind to myself, I can be kind to someone else. And the thing about kindness is that it's just about the only thing in the world that doubles when you share it. It is January 1st, 2024. I had to write 2024 on a piece of paper for the first time this morning, which felt so weird. I still feel like it's 2019. I will say I do have a good feeling about this year. I had a good feeling about last year. Last year was phenomenal, like just an absolutely life-changing year. And I feel like 2024 has a good energy about it. So last night I went to bed at like 10. I woke up at 10, so I slept 12 hours. I still think I'm a little bit jet lagged right now. I woke up, went downstairs to the restaurant here, had some coffee, did work on my computer, and then I went to a massage here at the spa because my whole body is so sore from these sprints that Taylor and I did the other day. Like, I wasn't expecting to be so sore from them. We're so competitive with each other that we went, we both went way too hard. Like he was sore during his match from them and I have not been able to sit on the toilet properly for the last three days because my whole body hurts so bad. So I went and got a massage, I read my book, I've had a very chill, relaxing day to bring in the new year, which is exactly what I wanted for today. I am astronomically confused about the scoring system for United Cup, which is the tournament that they're playing this week. I could not tell you what they have to do today to make them go on to the quarterfinals. I think they have to win at least one, but they beat Great Britain yesterday. Tonight they're playing Australia, which playing Australians in Australia adds a whole another layer of difficulty to the match because Australians are some crazy, crazy fans. Usually, not always, usually pretty respectful, but just definitely more rowdy than other countries are. Also, I almost forgot to talk about last year, I had two New Year's resolutions. The first was to talk to more strangers, which I feel like I did a really, really good job at. I'm very good now at talking to strangers and starting up conversations with strangers and my skill of small talk just greatly improved in the last year because I practiced it so much. And I think my other resolution was just to try to learn more between video essays, podcast books, and again, I feel like I definitely accomplished that this year. I really shifted my focus of content onto much more educational stuff instead of just like scrolling on TikTok. I don't really do that anymore. I basically only read and listen to podcasts now. I'm happy with how those resolutions went for 2024. I haven't really thought of any, to be honest. I think that maybe later this week, I'll try to sit down and like really think about what I want the rest of this year to look like. One thing that I know for a fact, this year was definitely a big year career-wise. Next year, I just wanna focus on 
more fun, more experiences, more trying things out even if I might fail. You know, I am in my mid 20s and something that my mom has always told me is that your 20s are for just trying things. I have the rest of my life to make a ton of money and try really hard to be the most successful person ever, but right now, all I really wanna do and I feel like all I really need to do is just experience life, have fun. There were a lot of times this year where I was just putting a lot of pressure on myself and I just wanna say as a reminder, whenever you're feeling a little too overwhelmed with life, just remember like this is supposed to be fun. Take a deep breath, it is not that serious. Anyways, it is time to go to the match. Okay, quick fit check, this is the body scoot. This is the bodysuit from Skims. This little bolero sweater I got from H&M years ago. Like honestly, probably four years ago. I've washed it so many times. Somehow it just is the most amazing quality sweater I've ever had. Oh, that's why it's cotton, it's not polyester. Don't buy polyester sweaters. These jeans are Alice and Olivia. They are the first low rise pants that I think I've ever owned but I love them, I do, I really do. I never thought I would say that. Okay, let's go. Taylor lost his match. Demon Artist played Unreal. Like I said earlier, I'm so confused about the format of this. I'm trying to Google it right now. Either they will play quarterfinals and we're gonna be in Perth for another three days, or if they like lose everything tonight, I think then we leave for Melbourne tomorrow. If they make quarterfinals, we go to Sydney, which I'm really hoping we go to Sydney. I really, 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 really want to go to Sydney. If we don't go to Sydney, I guess it's fine. I just have some friends in Sydney that I really wanted to see, but they're also coming to Australian Open, so I'll see them in a couple weeks anyways. I'm just gonna watch the scores on my phone and we'll see. I am just gonna have a little self-care night. I think I'm gonna take a bubble bath and read my book and order room service and watch TV. Ideal night, honestly. Mm -hmm.